think if you rely on you know hydroelectric power, if you rely on um, any kind of you know mountain environments for you know transport or you know there are pipelines that go near glaciers. There are all kinds of things that uh, that that are ways that glaciers influence everyone's daily lives. I think there's a lot of concern and a lot of models have shown that you know BC might have you know 100 years left of you know glaciated environments, and I think we're maybe underestimating that. That's Alex Bevington, the lead author on a new paper from the University of Northern British Columbia. He's developed a new tool to map Western Canada's glaciers using satellites. Essentially, the last time that glaciers were systematically mapped in British Columbia and Alberta was in 2005. So since then, we have really no idea where the glaciers you know, are. I mean, we know where they are. They're, we know where they were in 2005, but they've changed quite a bit since then. So we took about 12,000 satellite images. And we developed an automatic mapping tool to be able to map glaciers without human intervention. And so that's important because we have about 14,000 glaciers in British Columbia. We all probably know by now that climate change is shrinking Canada's glaciers. But what the data from space also showed was that they're shrinking at an accelerated rate. And it's a trend that will continue to accelerate according to forward modeling. For every degree of warming, BC and Alberta will lose roughly 500 square kilometers of ice. The team picked up on something else too. As the glaciers lose mass and get smaller, another geologic feature is actually growing. There's lakes growing at the front of glaciers. We call them proglacial lakes. And this is something that we really have no grasp on um, in British Columbia. We don't know where all these lakes are. We don't know how fast they're growing. And lakes are uh, important um, because they also uh, presents a bit of a risk. Glacier forefields are quite dynamic environments. You get a lot of landsliding, you get a lot of chunks of ice falling off. It's a, it's a very dynamic environment. And if you have a lake, um, those lakes are more susceptible to you know, blowing out and having, having downstream consequences. Alex and his team were able to show the area of proglacial lakes grew five times faster over this last decade in Western Canada. Add to that the fact that glaciers represent a critical source of stored freshwater in Western Canada, and it makes protecting them by drastically reducing human-induced greenhouse gases all the more important. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.